In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using collections with Python and Maya. And I'm going to also include the script I coded already so that you can dissect it a little bit more so you don't have to try to copy it directly from this video. But the way that the small script I made works is, and let me show you real quick, is when you hit this create button, it spawns a polysphere and it moves it in the uh, X direction based on how many spheres there are. So the first sphere will be at 0, 0, 0. The second one will be at 1, 0, 0. The second one will be at 2, 0, 0, et cetera, et cetera. And it also puts it in a uh, list for you so that if you wanted to use that later somewhere in here or in your code, you could access that and do what you needed to do with all of the objects you just spawned. So if I demo demonstrate this real quick, if I click create, you can see I get a sphere, create again, there's another one, and I can just keep creating it. And you can't really see on the back end, you know, you can't see in Maya the, the um, collection, but if I go over to the code, we can dissect it real quick. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. And um, some things are similar to what we kind of demoed in class. I did cut out some stuff just to kind of make this a super simple program for you to look at, where we just create our window and all it has is the one button right here um, that calls on create click. And on all on create click does is it calls the create object. Notice I called this object, not objects. So, you know, don't get tripped up by that if it, you are trying to look and copy paste code from the one demo to the other, since it only creates one thing. So if we follow this function, it is still up here and I kind of cut out some stuff since all we're going to do is create a polysphere. We don't have like a choice or anything like that. Um, notice up here, I do have some global variables up here. The first one is um, a list called obj list and we just created an empty one by um, putting those square brackets right there, as well as this one called obj count, which I'm going to use to keep track of how many, um, how many objects I've spawned. This is kind of sort of unnecessary because you could probably get that, you know, based on like after you put it in, how long your list is, et cetera, et cetera. But for those of you who kind of like it a little bit more straightforward, there's nothing wrong with making a variable to hold on to that information. So let's look at create object and let's look at how I am doing this. So first things first, we want to be able to access the global, you know, this as a global variable. So we do have to kind of put it down here like this. So we're not accidentally making a local variable. I then um, spawn one polysphere into this variable called obj. I then do a move on it where what I'm doing is I'm taking this object count, which, you know, it starts off at zero. Um, you know, for the X position, you know, Y and Z are zero, zero. You could always put whatever you wanted for those two if you wanted to move them. But, you know, we just want a straight line. And then I'm passing to this move command what object is going to be moved, which is going to be this one we just spawned. So after we do our move, I'm then going to append that object. And this is kind of how you have to do it, you know, kind of weird, but I, uh, this is the way I've, I've seen it done, um, is you have to do it like this. We just append it to that object list, right there, right there. And then we can do our, raise our count by plus one. So um, that should be it. And like I said, it's a real simple script. Hopefully you can kind of dissect this one a little bit more. Hopefully this is useful to you and I'll show it one more time. Um, the nice thing too is I'm not going to step you through this, but since we're making a list of objects, if you do need to go through that list and do something to every single object in that list, we could just use a for loop for that. Um, or for each, I would use a, probably a for loop or for each, you know, Python. It's like, which one is, which one is it in this language that you want to use? Um, but we can just loop through our list then and do stuff to all of our objects. Um, so if I come back here and play it one more time, oops, pull that out. Oh, we'll just, uh, sorry. There we go. I always do that by accident. Um, let me hit pl play so I get my window again and I create and I'll just keep creating them 
I'll keep spawning them and they get moved and stored. And that's all I have to show you. Hopefully this is helpful for your lab this week.